In this video, we're going to talk about exponential runtime. Um, so one example of this is the power set. To explain better how, it work, how the power set works, let's imagine that you are buying ice cream. And then you will, and then you are going to add some toppings to it. So you can have chocolate, you can have, I don't know, cookies or whatever you want to be on top. And let's call this ABC. So you can have three toppings. So what are the, all the different combinations that you can have? So you can have nothing. You are on a diet just gonna eat the raw ice cream or you can have more toppings you can have the topping a the topping b or the topping c or you can combine them you can have a and b or you can have a and c or you can have all of them you don't care right um cool so how do we do an algorithm that calculates or the power set of a given set so to do that let's think about the best cases let's see so let's start first with the case when you only when you have nothing you don't have any toppings so the power set will be nothing that's pretty easy what about the case when you have only one topping so the power set will be nothing and a okay so what about when you have two a and b so you can have nothing you can have a and then you can add b to everything before so you can have b or you can have a cool and then when you have three we just did it in here so basically you are going to take whatever the result is in here and add a C on top of that so you will have so you will have the same thing as in here right and then you you will add C to everything so C2 with nothing C then you have CA then you have CB and then you have CBA right so as you can see the, the order doesn't matter it doesn't matter if you have cookies and and syrup or syrup and cookies it's all the same it all goes to the your ice cream so now let's do a program that computes all the different um permutations or all the different combinations okay so let's create a function the power set um for simplicity we take an array let's call it a and then we're going to return so we're going to do this a function that will have the base case which will be empty and then it will calculate a on the previous one it's going to add uh, it's going to double every time so here we have one element and here we have two and here we have four here we have eight as you can see it grows two to the n so we have three elements it's gonna be two two eight two three which is gonna be eight as you can see that runs in exponential time so to do a program I'm going to use the function reduce. You will see in a minute why I'm going to use that. So let's call the, we have all the results here. And we have the elements. Call it EL. So what we are going to do with this. So the first of all you reduce element take a base case so whichever the use will be equal to this case will be an empty array 
what it means on the reduce star so the reduce in el we will have all the different elements one by one so if it's abc we will have a b and c right and the results will be the cumulative of whatever we return here so we're going to start with the empty case so let's see now what we need to do we need to concatenate the results with whatever element we have so to do that we are going to do something like this and then we have call it concatenation call it c short so it's concatenated values so it will be wherever the results are then for each one of them i'm going to use a map and for each one of the element in that result which initially will be empty i'm going to return a string that will be the element and then i'm going to return uh, so let's do it this way i'm going to return the element that we have i'm going to join it with the whatever was there before This is the concatenation, concatenation, and then this result I'm gonna return um, so what are we going to return? Whatever was in results. Results do a concat to add the new array that we are concatenating so that will be c that's it there we have it so let's explain how how it's working so first sample is let's take the second example let's, let's do the first one let's change the color so we don't get confused okay so let's say that we, the array is just a so a we start the best case results will be equal to the null and the element will be equal to a the results only have the empty string so we have a we'll continue with the empty string we only have a okay so the c will be a and then results will be it was in there which is the empty concatenated with a so we have empty and a nice so now let's do a b so again we have array will be a b for the results the initial case is a b it is is the empty 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 element and then we have element will take the place of a and b and in the first case will be a the results empty array so i'm going to take e will be the empty array and the element will be a so we have a a concatenated with the empty array so that will be so you have empty array and then i will Continue both and then I will have A. So it just double. It started with empty and it doubled to having two elements. So now we're going to second iteration, which is going to take B. So now element is B. The result is empty and A. Okay? So, so now I append b to every element in the result so that will be b um empty just b 
And then I have B and A. So I have B, A. Okay. And then I make that the results. So I have so that get added to the results. Right? And that's it. So we have the end result in here. And then the same will be for for three or four. And then the the key to identify exponential runtime algorithms is sometimes they they double double the the size on each iteration. So that's why we have a exponential runtime.